Hi, this is Katkam Lessons channel and in this video we will briefly start working with plasticity and let's begin by setting preferences and configuring the grid. Go to the menu under the letter P, select preferences and define user preferences. At this moment the most important preferences will be related to navigation and the grid. Here for navigation I use the default navigation method in Plasticity, but if you are using other programs you can choose different navigation settings here. Next let's go to the grid and units. I use millimeters and have set the grid size to 1000 millimeters. If I set it for example 10 millimeters the grid will be smaller. If I set it to 100 it looks like this. And if I set it to 1000 mm, it fills the entire workspace. Here we specify the distances between the thicker lines. If you use a space mouse, space mouse is also supported in plasticity. Here you can define the space mouse settings. I use a keyboard and mouse, I don't use a space mouse, so at this moment I won't be able to tell you much about it. There's also a tab where we can set the colors of the workspace. If you want, here you can set colors that suits you better. Now to exit this, I simply click somewhere in the workspace to exit these settings. And if you've changed anything in the settings, you need to restart plasticity. We have information here that the program needs to be reset to apply the changes. Regarding the grid, we have grid snaps, we can enable grid snapping, then when creating some geometry we will be able to use the grid points to create geometry relative to those points. We can increase the distances between the grid lines and now the distance between these lines are 5 mm. We can change it to 10 mm, but I'll go back to one millimeter here and next we have object snaps which means snapping objects to other objects. This is also useful in many cases. And next we have construction planes x, y, y, z and x, z. Now if we double click on this plane we will switch to the view of this plane and we can toggle like this. Here we can exit this plane and by pressing the mouse wheel we can rotate the view, by right clicking we can pan the view in the workspace and by scrolling the mouse wheel we can zoom in and out. For now these are the basic settings regarding the interface and navigation in Plasticity and that's all for today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.